got four pieces of furniture here that's past its sell by date, should we say, should I say. A friend of mine gave them. Yeah, wonder if I could do anything with them. That's quite old, teak, pine dresser there. Uh, an old toilet. Lovely. A few bits missing. But the Fiesta Resistance is this. Well, I think it is anyway. It looks, looks like an old tool chest. Somebody's an old pine bedside cabinet. Somebody's been using it as a tool chest for God knows how many years. 50 years? I don't know. But that's the most interesting piece. I quite like that. It's absolutely covered in oil. I don't even know if I'll be able to clean that up. Better do something with it though. So I think that's the one I like best. So that's the one I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with now. Right. Let's see what we can do with it. That looks like old floorboard. There's a piece missing there. So I'll have to get a bit of floorboard in there. It's absolutely caked in oil. Some nice old handles on it. So I think what I'll do, I'll get some hot soapy water, scrub it down, then I'll get my catcher out. Then I'll get my catcher and probably blast it clean and then leave it to dry, then give it a sand. Um, so I'm making this up as I go along, so bear with me. Sandals, they'll clean up lovely. I'm just going to use hot soapy water, a scrubbing brush, and maybe a wire brush.
Right, I've just brought them inside and I've lit a fire because I'm going to dry them. They'll never dry outside in this weather. So I'm going to dry them out in here before I can do anything else. There you go. It's drying nicely. Look, if you can just about see the steam coming off it there. It's not too close. It's not red hot. It's just, it's just warming up nicely. Anyway, while they're drying, um, these handles have got a slight bow to them. So I'm going to straighten them up and then give them a clean. I'm going to use my Dremel to clean this handle up with a soft copper brush on it. I'll put my glasses on though. <laughs> that's what you get with cheap cheap tools that's lasted two minutes absolute rubbish yeah. that's not much copy either. plan B we'll call this plan B see what happens Well, plan B seemed to work anyway. It's just like a, I think they call it a paddle sander on my Dremel. It's left a, a few little scratches on there to be honest, but I think they'll polish out with some Brasso. So, you know when you've got a good plan B, because you don't have to go to plan C. Right, that's them. Six screw heads cleaned, handles cleaned, cabinets drying in front of the fire. Not much more I can do tonight anyway. I think it's time for my tea. The sander doesn't seem to be getting deep enough because it's a bit grainy at top so I'm going to use a wire brush and see if we can get right into the grain, get the oil out.
that's better it's got right down in there this is what it will like and this is what it's like after I hit it with a wire brush so I'm going to do it all like that this is really thick stuff you can see everything that's coming off it I think it's had a drill or so it's had something mounted on here looks like the drill holes to fasten it on and it looks like that's I don't, maybe some sort of adhesive or something so that's where I've took it off and there's still a lot to grow so I'm going to be here a while this is taking forever so I'm going to try a different tack I'm going to try battery drill with a, a wire brush on end I think my kids might call that a cheat code. You can see all that that's come off it. So I'm quite pleased with that. It's not as tall as it used to be for some reason. Just to show you how much oil is in this. I'm heating it up. Look at that. That's oil. That's how much oil is in this top. But it's leaving quite a nice colour. It's bringing oil to the surface, at the surface and it's leaving it a nice colour. Look at that. Liquid oil. still see the oil bubbling to the surface. Right, this part's missing, so I need to replace this with floorboard. Right, I've got this piece of pallet wood. That's the same thickness, so I'm just going to uh, cut the angle on that, and that'll fit in there nicely. Just do a smaller one to go in there as well. In fact, I'll just trim a bit off that old piece that'll go straight back in. Or I'll turn it round and it'll fit back in without trimming it. Drill in. I'll tack that on and then I'll put a thin side down there and a bottom one there, same as the other side.
probably don't even need these nails, but I'm going to put some in anyway. That Gorilla Glue's Glue, Gorilla Glue, is easy for me to say. That Gorilla Glue that I've used is really good stuff. I've made things before with that and not even pinged them and it's held. So it's Ain't no good. It's my last nail anyway. Okay, that's the original side, and this is the repair job. So when that's painted, it should look fine. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to paint the bottom white, and then I'm going to rub it down, and I'm going to varnish the top, I'm going to leave the holes, varnish the top, put the drawers back in, and I'll be done. French chic furniture paint. The lazy range. So I'm going to give it one coat like that, let it dry, rub it down with some light sandpaper, another coat, rub it down again, and then I'm going to give it a third coat, and then that should be the last, the third and final coat. So that's the first coat, uh, I'm going to let it dry. Give it a rub down, give it another coat, probably give it three coats. I'm going to switch the camera off now, put some meatloaf on because he died yesterday, so rest in peace, meatloaf. And uh, I'll see you when I've finished the painting. Right, I'm just about to do the second coat. After a bit. Just thinking, this this cabinet could have ended up anywhere. It obviously came out of somebody's garage. Um, it's it's been made for somebody's garage. I don't think it's ever been a bedside cabinet because it's made out of floorboards. Just looking at it, as I've sort of gone into it and looked more at it, so it's spent its whole life in a garage. Could have easily got thrown away or burnt. It's just that in this modern day, people are rescuing these pieces of old furniture and giving them a new lease of life. And I, th I think they look really good. And I think in this throwaway society that we've got these days, I think it's good to learn these skills. 
Things are too easy these days. Just throwing things away when you're fed up with them and buying new stuff. If we learnt to mend and restore things, I think we'd be better people and it'd be a better world. Anyway, rant over. The fact that you're watching this video in the first place told me that you're the kind of person like me that likes to make the best out of things and not throw things away and not waste things. Anyway, you don't want to see me painting all day, so I'm going to crack on this and uh, we'll show you it a little further down the line. Right, it's had three coats now, it's dried, so I'm just going to lightly rub it down with uh, a piece of 80 grit sandpaper. Clear yacht varnish. We'll see if this is any good. See what this does. 